welcome to our instruction video for the Astopad Resistive Patient Warming System. The Astopad is a resistive, reusable patient warming system that is safe and simple to operate. It helps prevent and treat hypothermia through, through the perioperative journey for all surgical patients. By using Astopad, we can keep the patient in a normothermia range and help prevent hypothermia from occurring. Our goal is to keep the patient normothermic through, through the perioperative process. This will help ensure a positive patient outcome. Normothermic core body temperature is considered to be between 36 degrees and 37.5 degrees. Hypothermia occurs when the patient's core body temperature drops below 36 degrees. Patients who are allowed to become hypothermia during surgery are three times more likely to develop a surgical side effect than the patient who is kept normothermia during surgery. Astopad can be used to through the perioperative suite, including pre-op, during surgery, during transport, in the PACU and intensive care unit as a treatment to help prevent hypothermia. The intended patient population for the Astopad system includes adults, children and neonates with a minimum body length of 35 cm or 13.8 inches. As a resistive warming system, the Astopad transfers the heat to the patient and not to the environment or in the OR field. Resistive warming does not involve airflow and does not cause any air disturbances in the surgical fields. The Astopad system is silent and efficient. The Astopad is composed of a control unit and a variety of blankets that can be used underneath, around or on the top of the patient for warming. The control unit has two independent blankets connections, allowing each blanket to be set at their own temperature. The heat is generated by a 24 volt protective low voltage for all Astopad blankets using Gensherm's proprietary Corotex radiolucent heating element. Each blanket is designed with up to 8 temperature sensors for patient safety and precise temperature control. Before use, the Astopad patient warming system should be clean and disinfected according to the instruction for use provided with the controller. For safe installation, the Astopad control unit is equipped with a universal mounting clamp at the back side of the device for attaching to an infusion stand. Just by opening the screws, it is possible to rotate the clamp. And now we have also the possibility to attach the device to a standard medical rail without additional accessories. The Astopad control unit has two outputs device sockets A and B for connecting the Astopad blankets. The Astopad is available with a battery option. When the battery is fully charged, the control unit can be operated for up to two hours without connecting to an external power source. This facilitates warming during transport through, through the hospital as needed. For the installation of the battery, unscrew the four screws at the bottom of the housing. Now remove the housing part and insert the battery.
To ensure that the Astopad controller has a battery, locate the label at the bottom of the device. It will indicate if a battery is already in place. Now plug the main plug into the socket. The device is now ready for use. To customize the application of blankets to specific patient positioning needs, there are several Astopad blankets available. We start with our Astopad COV 070 warming blanket for under, around or on the top of the patient. This warming blanket is designed for children and infants with a hay of less than 90 cm, 35.4 inches. The second size is our Astopad COE105 warming blanket. This is a special warming blanket for surgery and the lithotomy position, primarily used in the urology and gynecology. The next warming blanket is our Astopad ZUE-150 warming blanket. This is a heated standard blanket for your universal use on top of, around or underneath the patient. Our Astopad ZUE-155 warming blanket is to cover the upper body with cutouts for the neck and the thorax area. The Astopad COE-180 warming blanket is our full body blanket for on the top of around or underneath the patient, special design for use in the operating theater, recovery room or in the intensive care unit. For using the Astopad blanket under the patient, place the blanket lengthwise on the OR table. The cable connection is side pointing to the outside edge of the OR table. As the pad blanket must be positioned flush with the head or the foot end of the OR table. If you use a OR table with a viscoelastic foam and you put a warming blanket on the top, the pressure relieving benefits from the foam is still applied to the patient. If the OR tabletop is tilted, adjusted through the longitudinal axis, there is a danger that the patient will slip off. The patient must be sufficiently secured against slipping before the OR tabletop is tilted or otherwise move out in horizontal position. For using the acetate blanket on the top of the patient, place the blanket lengthwise or across over the patient with the cable connection side facing away from the patient. If areas of the patient are to be made accessible, the direction of the blanket can be adjusted as needed for the surgical field. All Astopad blankets may be used with the OR sheet or drape between the warming blanket and the patient. Once this is in place, the user can connect the blanket to the control unit. First, connect the extension cable with output A or B to the control unit. Then, connect the other side of the connection cable to the blanket of choice. The Astopad patient warming system is now ready for use. For a device with a built-in battery, the battery is charged in standby mode when the device is connected to the wall. The battery capacity can be seen in the controller display. To turn on the control unit, press the standby button located on the display of the device. Now the self-test runs and all LED flashes and the acoustic alarm signal sounds until the heat mode is started by pressing the start button. The short heating up time makes the Astopad ready for use quickly. The display shows the actual temperature from the warming blanket. 
the target temperature within the frame, which can be selected from 32 to 39 degrees. To increase or decrease the target temperature, pressing the plus or minus button in 0.5 degree steps. To confirm the temperature change, press the start button after choosing a new target temperature. For a patient positioning where a second blanket is useful or necessary, connect the second blanket to the second socket the same way the first blanket was connected. To start the second blanket, at output B. Press the start button to start the heat mode. Use the plus or minus button to set a new desired temperature and confirm the new temperature by pressing the start button. Each blanket has an independent temperature control. After the connection of our two warming blankets, Astopad can be used now for continuous operation. To turn off one blanket, press the stop button at output A or B. The blankets can be started or stopped independently of each other. To switch off the complete system, press the standby button until all displays are turned off and only the standby LED illuminates. In the next step, we disconnect the blankets and connecting hoses from the Astapad control unit. Our last step is to clean and disinfect Astapad as needed according to our instruction for use. If it is necessary, first clean all surfaces of the blanket with a soft cloth and a mild soap and water solution. To disinfect the components, use only the approved disinfections listed in the Astapad manual. After we have carried out the cleaning and disinfection and the blankets have dried, the Astopad patient warming system is immediately ready for use by the next patient.